what is the DoorDash Large Order Program? The Large Order Program awards dashers enrolled in this program the opportunities to receive high value orders during their regular dashes they take. Dashers will receive these offers when these high value orders are in, the, in their area. These deliveries represent all large orders on the platform, including some catering deliveries, but cannot be scheduled in advance. So what do you need to qualify to be a part of this program? You will need to have 200 plus lifetime deliveries, 100 plus deliveries in the past month, a customer rating of 4.7 or above in the past month, and a 95% completion rate in the past month. And you would need to maintain those um, stats in order to be a part of the program and remain in the program. After you meet the stats on your personal account, you also will have to have a catering bag. The catering bag does not have to be DoorDash branded, but they do sell one directly on the stores. There is a DoorDash store. The link to this article will be below this video. I personally do not use a DoorDash bag. I have a catering bag um, that I purchased myself and it does meet the qualifications. And yeah, that's all you're gonna need. But it says that you're going to receive an email when you qualify. In my experience, you're not gonna get an email. You're gonna have to reach out to them when you qualify and then submit the photo with the link that support is gonna send you directly. And then you're gonna have to keep calling and checking up and calling. And then they're gonna send it to tier two and a special team. And then they're not gonna call back and they're not gonna email. And you're gonna keep calling and keep calling until you actually do get the email congratulating you and welcoming you to the program, in my experience. So some people feel if you buy the bag from DoorDash that increases your chances of qualifying and it may I just didn't want to go that route and hopefully this helps let's get into okay it. now that you know what the large order program is with DoorDash and what the requirements are in order for you to qualify and my suggestions on how you can go about getting into the program if you qualify and they haven't invited you yet we are going to do our full first day with no breaks we're working from about 9 15 till about 4 15 and our first order is picking up at Safeway, 1475, two items, total 3.6 miles. Shop is finished and someone must not be feeling good. It's just for Tylenol and a thermometer. Let's hurry and get it to Okay, just a note, my shop time is always very long in my opinion and I'm sure in yours too if you look at it. I'm just thinking of ways to cut down on the time. If you don't see the item right away, click can't find item. Sometimes there will be a replacement already available and then you can still look a little longer or if there's not a replacement available they would send that text to the customer right away so they can submit a substitute also look at the top of shelves the reason why this one is going to be long the thermometer it's a very small section for pharmacy goods and there was no employee that was willing to assist so they said it's in the pharmacy pharmacy section they were laying down flat on the top shelf where you can only see the bottom little square which is just white with a barcode so that's where the thermometers were just to save you some time if you have a similar shop and with the and as you can see in the screenshot the shop time was long for the two reasons i told you but i'm working on that we have our next order 775 picking up at chick-fil-a for a total of 4.4 miles it is not exactly the two dollars per mile like I like, but it's close enough. I was a mile, 1.2 miles from the Chick-fil-A after the last drop off, and it's bringing it back down to that area where there are still a lot of restaurants, and I should be able to get another order rather quickly. Plus it's 9.53. The main breakfast people have already ordered, and things tend to slow down from 10 to 11, 11.30. So we're going to Chick-fil-A. And we have arrived. Okay, that last order had a $2 tip, the rest base pay. And we have our next order. They didn't show us the mileage, but it's $7.25 and it's very close according to the map. And when I arrived, it said, please take a picture of your catering bag, which I did. We're picking up at Tati Bakery. Let's go. Okay, I don't know why um, other dashes passed this up because my base pay is $2.75 and it had gotten up to $3.25. The customer tip, $28.00. The final payout was $3207. Thank you, Miss Customer. We have already delivered. And I don't know why they hid the mileage or the item count. 
I did take a screenshot of the total amount. I believe it was like 165 and the customer was less than half a mile away, literally like four blocks and we were there, so yay. And we have taken our next order, 1075 for five point something miles. We we're picking up at Asian BB Bop Grill. The mileage is high and takes us out of the zone, but it's 1050 right now. I'm back in the car right before lunch starts and the busier you stay, the more money you make. And that's not and we have arrived. They were literally close to just to walk around the corner. Then they tried to get in the car. <laughs> Let's go. And Bethesda Row is ready on November 3rd. Beat it. On that last order, there was no hidden tip. I didn't expect one. I think the customer tip 350 and the rest was base pay. And we have our next order. Picking up at P by Peter Chang for seven and change. And hopefully they're open. <laughs> Let's go. While in queue by Peter Chang, we received an add-on. Six dollars for an additional one mile. And we accepted it. Let's go. Okay, the last orders. The $7.75 went up to $8.75. And the six dollars remained the same. And we have our next order. We did decline one Cheesecake Factory. They sent us $6.50 going 2.1 miles and 650 is not the hidden tip indicator in my market so I declined it and immediately after we received this gem 1625 for six miles and change 16 items subtotal like 256 yes let's go order dropped off you want to guess what the final payout was knocked me over with a feather $57.88 Go our daughter program! Now, we have about an 18 minute drive back to the avenue, but not at all the problem. We are back on the avenue and we have our picking up at Parthenon restaurant. One item, 1.9 miles for 725. It most likely is not going up, and it's going to get a good salad. And while we were in the Parthenon, we received the add-on, $5.50 for an additional 0.7 miles, and we accepted. Okay, on that last order, they did high 50 cents. The 7.25 went up to 7.75, but the 5.50 remained the same. And we have our next order, picking up a bread first bakery for the eight and change you see. Let's go get it. Okay, that last order, they also hit 50 cents, and we were paid 9.25, and we have our next one. Chick Fil A, seven dollars and I believe 50 cents for two miles. Okay, that last order had a small hidden tip as well. $9.50 instead of $7.50 shown. Well, I think $9. And now we have our next pot belly, $8.50 for 2.5 miles, and we're going. And that last order also had a hidden tip. And we have our last order for this daytime shift. Picking up a pet smart, $8 going two miles. Let's go get it. Okay, last order completed. There was a hidden tip. We were paid $9.99 rather than the $8 was shown. And we have ended our daytime dash. This was a great Thursday. I don't know if every day is going to be like this, but I sure hope it is. We were online for 6 hours and 9 minutes, active for 5 hours and 1 minute, and we made a total of $188.44. And what is the major difference in my dashes on normal Thursdays compared to now, it is and was the large order program. So if you are not a part of it, rewatch the beginning of the video and when you have the qualifications, reach out to support. It is worth it. Drive on my way.